Eagle Insights, Tennessee Tech Student News and Variety Show. I'm Samantha Steger. And I'm Elliot Tony. The Tennessee Tech Tomorrow initiative has resulted in construction around campus, which has changed where students are allowed to park. Here's Eagle Insights J.K. McMillan with a report about parking around campus. Parking, the foremost complaint for many Tennessee Tech students. Tech's parking situation has changed quite a bit since the groundbreaking on the new science building. One of the major commuter lots on campus is now entirely gone, and other campus lots have been turned into scrambles for available parking spaces. In addition, ongoing construction to the University Center has removed a Gold Pass lot, which is scheduled to be rebuilt and reopened when construction has finished. A comparison between campus parking maps from year to year illustrates the laws very clearly. However, there are alternatives. The gold and purple campus shuttles run on campus during weekdays from 6.45 a.m. to 5 p.m. The TTU Bus Tracker app is available on Android and iOS smartphone devices and will show where both buses are currently located and where they will stop. According to Tech's website, the Tennessee Tech Tomorrow campaign will conclude in 2021. Earlier this month, Tech held a contest for students to upgrade to a gold parking pass. Students had to share a photo of themselves riding a campus shuttle using hashtag TNTechShuttle on Twitter or Instagram. The winners were Zachary Plattner, Abby Reidener, and Andrew Town. After the break, Laura Mansfield will test students' presidential trivia. Dr. Edwards is such an amazing professor. Sometimes I wish Tech would take him more seriously. <laughs> so I'm Dr. Edwards with Counseling and Psychology. And I'm Doug Hensley in Counseling and Psychology. We're going to be reading Rate My Professors. I will be reading a nice selection of Doug's materials. And I'll be reading a nice selection of Dr. Edwards's. Let's get started. All right. Great teacher, fun class. Don't let him lie to you about being boring. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and while he strongly urges people to push through and excel, he leaves many people in tears. I'm gonna, I'm I remember this semester. I said, write something that sounds like I'm professional. And that's what that girl wrote. Because there's another one that reviews it and they say that that girl's lying. Oh. Because I only made one student cry. I would recommend taking Edwards over Hensley. Obviously, that student had some kind of problems. He spends half the class telling stories and making jokes. Really, can you be more serious? Mm -hmm. You get 10 attendance points if you show up or not. Lazy professor. Awesome. I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not pull up. <laughs> book is not needed. Do you stop telling people that they don't need the book? I tell you. He puts too much of his personal life in his lectures because he thinks it ties in with them. Is this yours? No, this is yours. <clears throat> I, that's, not, that's not true. Let he, me tell you a story about my family and why this is not true. <laughs> I, I don't understand. This must be too different because those students really had a hard time understanding and reading the book. And yeah. This one doesn't need it. Are you suggesting uh, there's a little bit of a problem with reliability here? Well, no. All mine are really good. I take that class. President's Day was February 19th, and in honor of President's Day, we went around campus and asked students fun facts about the presidents and the White House. Uh, what president lived? 70 miles from Tech's campus. I don't know. <laughs> Andrew Jackson. What president lived 70 miles from Wait, Tech's campus? Lived at the past. Andrew Jackson. Correct. Uh, Washington's dentures made out of. I agree. Correct. You're really good. President never lived in the White House. Um, William Taft. <laughs> Wrong. George Washington. Okay. What presidents are on Mount Rushmore? Abraham Lincoln. George Washington. Andrew Jackson. There's five, right? Yes. There's three. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, yes. Correct. What presidents are on Mount Rushmore? Don't ask me that. Next. <laughs> you may have noticed a new piece of art on campus. Eagle Insight sat down with two of the people who were involved in the, the sculpture's development. Four years ago, um, we started planning, you remember this, for the centennial um, celebration. 
Um, Dr. Birdwell agreed to serve on our art committee. One of the things that we all agreed, everybody agreed, we don't need another evil. And the goal was to have this happen at the finale of the centennial, which would have been April-ish of 2000, May, actually 2016. That didn't happen because Dr. Oldham gave us permission to take as long as we needed. He said right off the bat, don't rush this process. It's art. You can't rush art. Give what, what you can recommend as the strongest piece for us. And if it takes longer, it takes longer. And so it did. It took a, it took a year longer. You know, and, and, it's, and it's not, we're not criticizing the no. Eagles because we got plenty of Eagles on campus. They're very different. But this was to be something different because that would be, just be too easy to mm -hmm. leave. Well, let's just have another Eagle. And then I came up with this um, fantastic guy out of, out of Asheville, North Carolina, Haas Haley, who gave us exactly what we asked for and more. Celebration, but I don't really know like what its purpose is on Tex campus. I just kind of walked by it and had no idea what it was. Well, this is meant to make a statement. I mean, it literally was making a statement about where we feel we have been, where we feel we are going, where our aspirations are, the Tennessee Tech for tomorrow. And an eagle would not necessarily have said that. It would not have been a special or, or even unique. When people, especially students, when you see Ascension in the future, you'll immediately say Tennessee Tech. Yeah because that's just going to be us. And also one of the things you remember when, when we were talking to Haas about what we were going to do, we said, we have to make it so that you can't climb it very easily. <laughs> According to the university, Ascension is made of stainless steel. It is 52 feet tall and weighs 7,000 pounds. After the break, get the details about an event where you can voice your concerns about campus. So if you look, so there's your profile pic there. And you'll uh, see some, those are some of the tags that people... Would, uh, would you take it again? 24%, that's all. Half, the, half of them would take it. Overall quality is uh, 2.5. See, that's a C. That's not good. He said he, he, it was his fault that he got a D. The one of the honors got there for you. He rated me high. He gave me a 4. Okay, that's good. Not the greatest teacher in the world. Yeah, I, I probably... Dr. Balal is hilarious to listen to and very knowledgeable. That makes me feel very important. I suck at biology. There's another honest student. Uh, Balal is not that bad. Ah, well, that's good. If you want to talk about the changes around campus, Tennessee Tech's president, Phil Oldham, will host Chat with the President tomorrow at 11 a.m. in the Tech Pride Room in the Rodin University Center. That's all the time we have for today's show. Join us next month for more news and entertainment. I'm Elliot Tony, And I'm Samantha Steger. Have a great day.